Welcome back, everybody. You know, if you are a football fan here, and I hope many of you are, today the day that couldn't come soon enough. The refs, the regular ones at least, they are back. The last time um, we all talked about this subject was on Monday night here, where the refs um, unbelievably not just blew the call originally, but even after a review here, and after they went to the booth, they still couldn't get it right. Well, late last night, the league and the refs, they reached an agreement. They ended the three-month lockout. The straw that broke that back, as I mentioned, this clip here from Monday night, where Packer fans are still talking to themselves over it. Um, well, after this, what looked like an interception to most of us, and certainly in replay looked at it, was called a catch, and as a result, the Packers lost, the Seahawks won. Well, 48 hours later, negotiations uh, certainly ramped up after that. Uh, the league, they've got a new deal. In the end, both sides, I guess, got what they wanted. The refs got that salary bump, a better pension plan, even though they're part-time employees. NFL get an option to uh, hire a bench of officials that it can use to replace bad refs. Referees won't vote on the eight-year deal until the weekend, but with the lockout lifted, the real referees will be back on the field tonight for Thursday Night Football um, as the Ravens and the Browns square off. Okay, um, everybody's happy that they've got a deal. But my question is, unions um, have become four-letter words in certain places in this country. You got part-time employees who want pension benefits full-time employees don't even get in this country. They're asking and got really nice salary bumps. And the public and the governor of Wisconsin, who is the poster child that to take union down, say, good for them, I'm behind the reps. Now, I know nobody watches uh, somebody on a picket line uh, at a company, but they do watch football on Sundays. Explain to me, though, how this isn't at least purity of thought. This seems to be... Hey, I like my football. I don't care about the guy at uh, working the assembly it's line. It's a guilty conscience because of all the Thank scorn you. they heap on the refs for the lousy calls they make week after week, so they're doing penance for that. But, Mark, is this really just about leverage that the refs had and the league didn't at this point? Well, in the last 48 hours, they certainly had. And I, I sort of think it's overblown because pro refs, replacement refs, they make back bad calls and blow calls all the time. My favorite team, the New York Islanders, won their first Stanley Cup in 1980 because of a blown offsides call. So this is just part of the game. Get over it, move on, you, you lost you, the game, you that's what happens. You can't generalize about unions. I think Americans have very strong opinions for the private sector unions. They love them, they support them. It's the public unions that they have a problem with because it's the fox guarding the hen house. It's a monopoly within a monopoly. And that's where the Americans say enough is enough. But, but is it really the public that has a problem with public unions, or is it Republican leadership that says those are the bad guys, they're stealing all the you public ask, dollars? You ask any family, they say, I love my teachers, I don't like that union. And then the teachers don't even like what the, the union bosses are saying. Well, what it's about a the monopoly parallel strike monopoly. in Chicago? I mean, where was public sentiment? Was it with the teachers or nope. was it with the city? It was with the city. I mean, so you have two exactly. competing it's strikes and look union. at the, the, the disparate... I hate to put it this simple, Richard, but it, it sort of goes to what your original question was. The reason why the public cares about this, remember, half the country doesn't vote. So half the country, we're so tired of the nonsense and the political process that we just tune it out completely. But in this case, we want what we want. And we wanted our football back. <laughs> Thus, everybody was in line with the referees. Mm -hmm. End you, of story. Do you know the number one vote that's occurring right now in the private sector unions? Now that they're being allowed to not have force taking of my money, people are taking their money away from the, 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 the dues to the to unions. But, but the question I always had, why do Republicans care so much about battling the bad people in the public unions? Why do Republicans, yeah, and I already I know what the answer is. Right, right, because no. they vote Democrat. No, this, That's this what this very is very simple. The, the, the unions have had a grasp on the worker who takes money mandatorily and pumps it into a, a pumping up a big government and, and big government solution. And that's the problem that people on my side have with, I'm taking money from you no matter what, because you work in that company and I get to put it where I want to use it. Every, everybody's so focused on their own pocketbooks and on their own immediate advantages and they're not worried and they're not thinking about the big picture. With, we, you know, when it comes to these union contracts, people see people in unions getting better deals than they have, and they're jealous of them, and they don't think that those people should have those deals as good as they are, and then they don't want to take the money out of their own pocket, even in an area like for teachers where right. they say they support them. The refs just hit people at home where they live, so I think that's, all of a sudden, that was okay. 
but there's a lot of there's a lot of jealousy and a lot of grass looking greener on the other yeah, side let me here. Bring this back to football this, for one yeah, second, because if I could, there's because an NHL lockout at the same time. I think when millionaires are battling millionaires, people don't care and say no. let them all drop dead. But the refs <laughs> is the work and stuff. They don't want their home team to lose a game because of a blown call, and they're sick of waiting 10 minutes to have a replay decided also. But, but when you've got Walmart, you've got a mega zillion dollar company and a guy who's, you know, somebody who's making 25 grand a year, that's not millionaire versus millionaire, yet, the, yet right. people are still, but, well, that's going to make my, my, my coffee maker more expensive, so I don't want it. People, I mean, it's, people don't complain about someone in Walmart get, getting better benefits. People complain when anybody. there is no. a, a, a town selectman in a, in, a, in a town in California who's making 500000 a year. That's what they're complaining about. That's let's what let, they... Let me ask one final question on the football thing. Do you think the league capitulated like they did in the 11th hour, Mark, because they saw what was happening to their brand? They knew that, forget about a blown game, all of a sudden, some ref is going to lose control of a game. We already started to see Chippy play. Somebody's going to get hurt, and they're already looking at this concussion lawsuit that's moving along right now, that there was the safety issue that they were worried about. Why do you think, in the end, they gave in? Because it's not just these refs. There's a whole other bunch of employees attached to this and part-time staffs that don't have pensions that are going to say, wait a minute, you just set precedent. You just gave these, uh, these uh, refs the deal. We want the same thing when our deal's up. Why do you think they gave in at the end? I think what you said initially, the integrity of the brand was being compromised. I'm one of these poor unfortunates that listens to sports talk radio, and I never heard anything like that. I said, if you, and if you ever watch ESPN 24-7, just like the parallel cable the news cycle. The they ever had for a sports center was after the Packer, um, uh, the Seahawks game, because of the outrage here. It was here. unrelenting. I never, and even by, by sports talk radio standards, mm -hmm. this was over the cliff. Every yep. decision the NFL makes is for PR. Just, just about every decision they make is for their PR benefit. We jump to a quick break. When we come back, we'll come back to an issue we've covered quite a bit here on RFL Stop and Frisk. Major um, decision on this, and a major blow here to the NYPD's controversial policy. It is now... The owner shifted to the arresting officer to prove the stop and frisk arrests are warranted. We're going to talk more about that after this.